Hello everyone and welcome back to Budget Smudget episode 1 technically but part 2 and today we're going to look into a more competitive light swarm build um, after we looked into two very budget friendly versions we are playing a very minor light swarm engine but we have Raiden, we have some beasts, we have Lumina but we do run the Curious and the Minerva and Extra we even run a Twilight Sworn, but mostly it's a Chaos Engine. And that's the thing that Light Sworn does very well. It dumps a lot to the graveyard. So we're going to try this. We're going to hump into EA's uh, competitive this time and try and get a game win. And we found our opponent in Eduardo with four outs. Very important. He is going first, so maybe we can. He just passed his turn. He just passed his turn. What is he doing? Uh, uh, that's fine, I guess. We'll first draw another card to try and get more. That's great. Yeah, we do want to do this. Send at Raiden. We will activate Mothman. Let's hope they sniper Raiden. That's great. Uh, we're gonna try the same for Chupacabra. I maybe should have overlaid first. And maybe should have gotten Raiden on the field before. I got you for cover, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we will first go into the Nervous at 2000 beat. Uh, let's go into Minerva first. Fortunately this does not trigger Collapse Serpent, which is kind of a shame. Ah, uh, again, must me. Are we playing side frames? Let me see Orochi. Maybe if we need it. Well, first normal Raiden. What is he gonna do? He just left on me. Okay, we will try this again. We'll be right back. And we found our new opponent in player. So let's see what they bring. We drew into two beasts. Uh, that's bad. And we're going against Sword Soul. We'll be in a highly competitive deck here. Um, not sure how well this will go. We will be back after he completed his full combo. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Um, it's kind of bad because he has a negate, a infinite permanence, and I can't special summon darks. So I'm not really sure how I have to handle this. Blake spreader, and I can only. I cannot special summon darks. I can still activate Nessie apparently. I can keep going for Nessie until he snipes Nessie. That's good. Uh, special summon Chichi. Get one to hand. We want a Mothman. 
Slap the turkey or the Mothman. Thank you. And discard the trick clown. I threw him to the driver. He's gonna negate the trick clown with Monty. No, he will let it go through. Uh, okay, what's this? Um, I can tell you what this is. It's bad. Just the pass. into game two. I just like that the first person just left and now we drew into a lot of bricks. We'll probably sign us some Lantias and stuff. We're gonna have to try and set up a good board for a stern or hand loop to at least rip a card out of his hand with Navunir, trying to set up some of the gates. I want to go first. We'll send Melly. Ash. can bring back the ash. What can I do with another ash? Nothing really. Yeah, I guess. I can do this. Please scale space draw into something good. Sure. Uh, that's kind of horrible. But wait a second. What can I summon off of three? I can summon, no, three monsters. I cannot summon anything else. Um, so we'll have to end on spheres. See, I think I must be. This is bad. Please, yeah, I have no interruptions. Could someone in Grand Creator after this? 
if I'm not just bad, which I probably am. Because that's the thing, this is a fun deck if you can set up a board, which most decks are. Most decks are fun if you can set something up, but right now we are just waiting for him to finish his combo. I'll be back when he ends his battle phase. Well, he goes into the battle phase and I saw my check this is just straight up again. We're only 10 minutes in, so we're going to try and get another game on. Um, maybe I'll switch over to EU casual for this. I'll be right back when we found someone. And we are here in EU casual now against Kyokai. This is fun. Let's start off with a Jackalope. He punches the Jackalope. That's fine. I will summon Mothman. I will go for Nessie. And my side to Nessie. We'll go for Chichinoko. So just snipe to help. Thank you. Special collab. Yeah, cool. For, first, um, if this is Spanish, you can have uh, from your deck to your graveyard, but. No. We will send a beast. Just for an extra light. We will start with a striker dragon. Trigger the collab. Get Wiper Buster. And then special Wiper Buster. Um, we will banish Collab Serpent. Striker. Okay, this is fine. Uh, what brings us... I want this, actually. Sent to the graveyard, Trick Clown. What do we have here? Chaos Space. Let's get Valkyria back into the deck. And we got another Chaos Space, which we'll be able to send Mally. And we'll add Valkyria to hand. We'll banish Mally to get another Mally. We'll banish Mothman, that's fine. Let's bring our level fours. That's a Minerva. Send away trick. We didn't uh, use our normal yet. Um, we only want to send away darks. Do we have enough darks? One, two, and we rip a card out of his hand. He's running a 60 card build, which is very interesting. We will normal our plague spreader. We'll special into Saryusha. Do we want to do that? Or are we just going to double Apollosa? Sure. We're going to double Apollosa. Play Valkyria. I'm a Nerva, why not? So that it's 10, right? Fuck. Um, World of Savage is 8, so we send away.
anything else? No, we'll keep it on board. I, I didn't really have to do this. The what can we saw me at? Yep, that's fine. We'll just go with this. Okay. One we get here. Uh, set. Set. Okay. Uh, we'll activate chaos space for collapse open. We'll Rota or Raiden. We will normal Raiden. Use Raiden effects. Set. Trap hole. What is he? Let's get rid of that first show. Uh, this is game. What is he playing? No, just do that. That's fine. Thank you. Is he playing? Hey. Am I just beating someone with a, with a goat back? Am I playing against a goat? Deck. On the one hand, go him. On the other hand, he wants me to go first too. Okay. Uh, we'll normal Raiden. We'll Mothman. Special Mothman. For Plague. Okay. Activate Raiden. A reborn and. Okay. Uh, we'll go into Minerva. There's one material. Draw a card. Take to the next. Go destroy the bell. It's up to your cards. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Okay, thank you. Uh, no, that's not Google or Chi just yet. That's bad, but so be it. That's dark, 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 dark. We'll do the lights this time. Light. Let's go for the Lumina. And he just quit. Um, one mess one. We are only at 20 minutes. We can do one mess one, but we'll go a mess of one. That's, that's fine. We don't do a match, we just do a one. And however it goes, it goes. Another player. That's, that's nice. Um, we go first, so we can go off if needed. Okay, we'll set, um, we'll activate it, that's fine. We'll send this away for uh, a knee collapse serpent. Special We go to Striker. 
And bring back Wiper Buster. Send in Wiper Buster. Go into Heretic Seal. I mean, maybe it would be better. Well, I shouldn't have done the Jackalope, that was kind of useless. <laughs> Does he just scoop on Imperial Order? I still love the Melvin the game. It's just so fun. Veer, okay. Uh, I should have done that. I can't do it again. I mean, I don't believe I can quick effect after they summoned. So now they're just going to make a fleet. No! Yeah, I can't trigger it anymore. He should go into Mega Fleet now, yeah. Uh, take some Jackalope. A triple set? What kind of Cyber Dragon build is this? Please don't run into Gear Space. Thank you. Uh, light, light, light. Good. A super poly and a cyber load. <laughs> In the face. Uh, we're going to play the long game here. Yeah, fair. Yeah. What does he send to the grave? Is there any fun hurts? What? Wasn't that just game? Shadal fusion? Explain Shadal cyber dragons? That's why it was nothing. That, that, um, that was my fun. I, I've been looking into Cyber Dragon too much. Wait, why did he pass? Sir, I have nothing. Uh, I can special summon. Blake Sprinter. 
A little Molly. I'll take it over Vert. <laughs> One face, two, one face, yeah, just come on, man, kill me. Wait, what did he just? G, G. No rematch, we're going back to deck. So guys, this was the competitive version of Lightsworn, the Chaos version. Um, it, I believe it's very fun. It's also very random, which makes it hard to just do test hands on your own. But I think it's very fun. Um, it's a shame people left or we bricked. But that's what happens in tournaments too, at least the bricking. Um, the one thing that I don't find suitable in this deck for my playstyle is Orochi. Um, the same as that I'm still not very confident with Pot of Desires. Um, I don't see how banishing 10 or in this instance 8 um, would be great for my deck. Uh, but that may be also because of the kind of decks I do play. Um, I did not calculate the price for this deck, um, but it's definitely more expensive than three structure decks of Realm of Light from two. Well, let me quickly go check and I will take you guys on a trip with me. Okay, so we find ourselves a card market. I'm European, so, well, European, I'm from Europe. Um, we're going to see what a Realm of Light structure deck costs nowadays. A Realm of Light structure deck sealed in Italian. You can still get them for 12 plus shipping. In English, I found one for 100. But I also saw, interestingly, a Realm of Light card pack. Those are more expensive than the sealed products. So if you're 35 in Italian, in English, it's cheapest is 60, 59, but with shipping it's more expensive. So that's very interesting. Um, so yeah, I still think that three star chick is cheaper, but if it's more fun in the long end, I don't think so. I think that Chaos build we had here was it's it's a very fun build for Rightsworn and maybe in the future I'll build it. But for now I'm gonna stick with my Melfies. Check out my other series. Go to YCSU Tracks 2022 where I'm playing Melfies the whole way through, practicing and building up my deck. And maybe we'll see each other there. Thank you very much and goodbye.